Today's going to be a little different from other hunts that I've done in the past because today I'm actually going on a guided hunt. You don't hear me say that a lot. And so I got kind of hooked up with this hunt and I get to go. So I was like, you know, why not? I'm not going to turn this down. We got a field full of honkers and ducks. So we'll see what happens. We got a good wind today and things look really good. I've got this in the coffee pot right now. You should get some, link in the description. I'm excited, this is the first field hunt of the year too. Wow. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I absolutely love field hunting. Water's great, don't get me wrong, but there's just something about hunting ducks and geese in a field. It is so much fun, especially ducks, when you get groups of like 300, you just the way this is all kind of working out is because I'm at a conference right now, but luckily it's close to where I live, so I can just drive every day. And so they're taking us out with guides on Saturday and Sunday. So that's what today is. Today is Saturday, and then tomorrow we'll be going out as well. I'm looking forward to it. Let's see how this day plays out. We got wind. We got a good field. What could go wrong? Oh yeah, just go ahead and put one on there. Oh. We're all ready to go here. We got a nice spread of like five dozen honkers. And that's it. We'll be tucked up against this fence row and some layout blinds. There's gonna be five of us here. We're looking for honkers and mallards like I said earlier, so we'll see what we get. I was gonna put the GoPro behind us, but then I dropped a screw like an idiot that I am, and it's nowhere to be found. So we'll figure it out. It'll be all right. But let's get settled in here and kill some ducks and and geese today. We're gonna kill some geese. They did it right. Ooh, got some honkers. Heck yeah, baby. Little old Jared, come on. Oh yeah, honkers, bro. That group did it right. We got some more coming over the trees, coming right at us. So hopefully we can just shoot them in the lips like that all day long. That's sweet. Now the group just did it right, we smoked two of them. The rest of them kind of flew away, but we had two do it. We got more birds coming down the pipe. Let's go right now. There's one limit. You're getting a workout. Bloody birds. <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh, we got this other group out front. Let these two get up, kill them. Okay. Water. Wanna shoot him? Yeah, let's kill him. Hey, bird! Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Every gun is pointed at him. Hey, bird! <laughs> Come on, bird! They're gonna walk out of our damn Come on, bird! Come on, bird! <laughs> Oh, we let him. Who's running? I'd be letting him. Oh. oh! Damn. Kevin stuck his ass. A lot of those birds went back to the roost. Yeah. <clears throat> they just got feet. Oh, here they come from the left. Pintail. Kill him. Damn, Kevin. Yeah. Oh, we got a penny on the board. I'm gonna get this bad boy out of here. We had geese working us, and then they flew away, and then ducks work us. We scratched out this pintail, picked him out, and uh, Jared and I both shot it, but it's a good looking bird. It's a real good looking bird. So, don't get too many of those. They're weary birds. A lot of people have trouble shooting them, and it's just because pintails are weary. It's nothing you're doing. I get questions a lot of times on like Snapchat and Instagram saying, hey, why aren't these birds working? Well, sometimes the birds just, they do what they want, especially pintails. They're very weary. They'll skirt you about 40 yards every time. So, it's a nice little treat. We'll probably have some more flights of geese coming through. We had a group land right in the middle of the field, probably 300 yards away. So that's never good. <laughs> Got competition now. But let's see if we can scratch out some more. <coughs> 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 There we go. We got four out of that group. That was nice. I like that. I like it a lot. So now we're up to 10 geese at this point. Looks good. Looks real good. <laughs>
Oh, there was one that went over there? Yeah. Oh, hey. We dumped seven out of that group, boys. Seven honkers in that group? Wow. That was good. Honkers doing it dirty. Big honkers, too. Honkers, bro. We're up to 17 geese at this point, and they're just right there. We got a nice wind today. There wasn't a whole lot of wind this morning, and that kind of played a little bit of a part in this. We had to move the decoys a little bit, and they're doing exactly what we want them to do. We can shoot 30 geese today, so hopefully we can make that happen. Big old pile of honkers. Just stacking them up over here, laying the beat down on some honkers down here in Kansas. Let's freaking go. Make sure you're all covered up, dude. Let these birds get up, kill them. Those birds are going to land out there in the middle. We should shoot these. You guys ready? Yep. Kill them. Five. Five. Is that one coming out? Look at them flop. <laughs> Another group doing it right. When they're coming in like that, I'm just, I'm looking for feet. I'm looking, looking for those leg bands on them. Still have yet to shoot one. Oh, yeah. So, maybe one day it'll happen. Let's check this guy. Nope. I'm going. Yeah, so we're eight away from a five-man limit of honkers. Big geese, they're all big geese. That's what it's all about. It's so cool when they just get them in the decoys. I was hoping that group would come back around, yeah. but it didn't happen. I say give about five more minutes and we'll have another group fly by. I think I misspoke earlier. We're up to 23, not 22. I think I said 22, we're at 23. That's a wrap for today. It's about 10 o'clock. The birds just pretty much quit. They all went back to roost. We got the pile of birds. The end number was 23 honkers and one pintail. That was a good day. Real good day. Check it out. First time, put like one or two in each corner in a whole day. It was a freaking bloodbath today. You wanna know how I can tell? If you don't get blood on your bibs on a hunt, you're doing something wrong. But there's no better way to end a hunt than with this. This is Casey's. We're gonna go eat some Casey's pizza. Literally, the best thing, either in the blind, if you guys have ever had somebody go on like a pizza run midday, pizza and Dr. Pepper run, it's literally the best thing ever. So, 
Let's go get some breakfast pizza, baby. Pizza's in the oven. Had to get a little appetizer, a couple donuts. Woo! It's the good stuff. Nothing better than that. A little snacky snack after your hunt, you know what I'm saying? So, today's hunt was pretty great, don't you think? Mm -hmm. Yep. Can't really complain. 23 birds in the bag, doing it right into the decoys. It's perfect. We did have some groups come by and like, they'd circle us, give us a look. We probably could have shot them, but Jerry was waiting for them to come into the deeks and they, they passed us about 20 yards. And that was it. They just went on on their merry way. But I'm happy with this. It was a really good hunt. First honker hunt of the season. So I'm hoping we can get some more of those videos out for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe. It means a lot when you guys do that. You can also follow me on my social media. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook. Follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. But that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll catch you on the next one.